So today, we have a fantastic recipe to kick off this beautiful day. We're talking Spanish potatoes in a delicious tomato sauce. Now, these potatoes have nothing to do with the classic Spanish patatas bravas, as it's a completely different flavor profile. And let me tell you, these potatoes have the most incredible textures and flavors. They're very easy to make, and it's all done in about 30 minutes. You know, folks, you can serve these potatoes as a tapas appetizer like they do here in Spain, but they're also perfect as a side dish next to some grilled fish and a salad. Either way, these delicious potatoes are one of the most underrated dishes that hail from Spain. Let's begin by grabbing a large deep fry pan, heating it with a medium heat, and adding in about one and a half cups of extra virgin olive oil, which is 360 milliliters. Now we're going to be using this oil to fry the potatoes, so you can use other oils here if you like, but by using extra virgin olive oil is what gives these potatoes that incredible depth of flavors. While the olive oil is heating, let's start getting our potatoes ready. I'm gonna cut two and a half pounds of potatoes, which is a little over one kilogram, that have already been peeled, washed, and patted dry. Each one into medium-sized pieces that are about three quarters of an inch thick, which is two centimeters. Now to make this recipe, you wanna make sure to use potatoes that are a bit more waxy than starchy. That way when you fry them, they hold their shape and they don't get mushy. As always, I'm using new potatoes, but you can also use Yukon Gold, Golden Delight, or even red potatoes. Once all the potatoes have been cut, I'm gonna start adding them into the pan with the hot olive oil. I like to add them in there in batches, that way that olive oil doesn't splash out of the pan. And once again, very important to be on a medium heat here, that way that olive oil doesn't smoke and it keeps its beautiful flavor. And we'll mix the potatoes around, that way they're all coated in that olive oil. And you don't have to mix the potatoes continuously, but do get in there every four to five minutes, that way each piece of potato is evenly fried. In the meantime, let's start making the tomato sauce. I'm gonna grab four fresh tomatoes. This is one and a quarter pounds, which is a little over half a kilogram. And we'll cut each tomato into four evenly sized pieces, making sure to remove any of the stem, and then adding them into a tall plastic cylinder. For this step, you can also use a blender or even a food processor. Then we'll grab one small onion. You can also use a shallot here. Cut it in half and add it into the cylinder with the tomatoes. And we'll remove the skin from one clove of garlic, cut it in half and add it into the cylinder. Then we'll season everything with sea salt and some freshly cracked black pepper. And using a handheld mixer, I'm gonna blend all the ingredients until we end up with a smooth puree. Once again, you can also use a blender here or even a food processor. Then we're gonna heat a small fry pan with a medium heat and add in two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, which is about 30 milliliters. After about two minutes, we'll add in our tomato mixture. And you wanna make sure to mix this immediately. That way the tomato sauce doesn't splat out of the pan. And this is also gonna ensure that the olive oil is evenly mixed into the tomato sauce. Then we'll add in a bay leaf into the tomato sauce and lower it to a low heat. And we're gonna simmer our tomato sauce on a low heat while we're cooking our potatoes. That way all the flavors can develop. And if you like, you can place a cover on the pan. That way while the tomato sauce is simmering, it doesn't splat out of the pan. All right, let's move back to the potatoes. They've been frying between 22 to 23 minutes. And as you can see, they have a beautiful golden fried color to them. And once again, I've been mixing them around every four to five minutes. At this point, they should be perfectly cooked through. You know, you can always pierce them with a toothpick and if it easily goes in there, they are ready to go. At this point, I'm gonna remove the pan from the heat and we'll drain the potatoes and the olive oil into a colander that has a sieve and a bowl underneath. and we'll shake off any of the excess olive oil in the potatoes. Then we'll add the fried potatoes back into the pan, and at this point, you wanna make sure that your fire's turned off. We'll season the potatoes with a little sea salt, and we'll give this a quick mix. That way that sea salt is evenly coating all the potatoes. And as for the extra virgin olive oil, by running it through a sieve, it really cleaned up the olive oil. That way you can use it on future recipes. 
Okay, let's move back to the tomato sauce. It's been simmering on a low heat between 12 to 14 minutes. And at this point, all the flavors should be developed and you wanna make sure to give it a taste test to make sure the seasonings are right on point. I'm gonna add in a little bit more sea salt, some freshly cracked black pepper and a little white sugar as it developed a little bit of acid while it was cooking and that white sugar is gonna flatten out that acid. We'll give the tomato sauce one last mix. And we'll pour the tomato sauce over the potatoes. And once again, make sure the fire's turned off in the fry pan. Then we'll remove the bay leaf from the tomato sauce. And we'll give this a gentle mix. That way each piece of potato is coated in that beautiful tomato sauce. And once again, remember to be gentle here. Otherwise, you can easily break those potatoes apart. and we'll transfer our potatoes into a serving dish. Check it out, our Spanish potatoes in a delicious tomato sauce is done. This is known here in Spain as patatas fritas in salsa de tomate. Super easy to make and came together in just about 30 minutes. Truly another one of those dishes where less is more and simplicity meets extraordinary. Let's give these potatoes a try and see how they turned out. Now this is what classic Spanish food is all about. Such a beautiful dish. Here we go. It's so good. First things first, is the texture on the potatoes. They're nice and velvety. Then you smell it in your mouth and that flavor of the extra virgin olive is so good. And then the homemade tomato sauce, what we call here in Spain tomate frito, just takes the potatoes to the next level. You saw this so easy to make. Comes together in a little over 30 minutes. And like I told you at the beginning, these potatoes are one of the most underrated dishes that hail from Spain. Give them a try at home and I promise you're gonna absolutely love them. Really quick before I go, a shout out to a couple of my patrons, Amy Martinez, Yvette Rivera, Nancy T, David Anthony, and Michael Fenter. Again guys, thank you so much for being patrons of Spain on Fork. You know how much I appreciate you. For the rest of you, if you're not with me on Patreon, a like to support Spain on a Fork, you'll find my Patreon link in the description box below and I card above. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that like button, leave me a comment below, and don't forget to share this video with your family and friends. That way your Spain on a Fork community can continue to grow. Till the next time, hasta luego.